What is going on, Dork Daily? It is Gabriel Barrio back with another video. The holidays are upon us, and who doesn't love a good Christmas special? Me personally, I love them. I might even love some of them even more than I do feature length movies or TV episodes, which I'm about to talk to you about right now. These are my top 10 favorite Christmas specials. And full disclaimer here not feature length movies, not episodes of TV shows. These are just specifically specials, usually between 20 to 45 minutes in length, maybe an hour. You know, they explore characters, but they're not a feature length movie. They're not a TV episode. With that out of the way, let's get to that ranking, shall we? My number 10 is A Garfield Christmas from 1987. And before anybody says anything, no, it wasn't part of Garfield and Friends. It aired before the show became episodic. It's your standard Garfield fare where he's being greedy and selfish around a holiday and not caring about others like John or Odie. But through John's trip to the farmhouse with Garfield and Odie, we see a really heartwarming relationship with Garfield. We see John be a whimsical kid. Odie get Garfield a nice gift. And obviously the most heartwarming moment, which is John's grandmother finding old love letters from her late husband. It's just really heartwarming stuff. The only thing that I think is weird is that weird hoot nanny at the end. Let's have a good old fashioned Christmas down on the farm. A little overeaten, never did you any harm. And, but other than that, really sweet stuff, especially for the old Garfield. And for you geeks out there, two past voice actors that we love from our childhood. Squiggy from Laverne and Shirley. I forget the guy's name. He plays John's brother. And Pat Carroll, who is the voice of Ursula from Little Mermaid. Number nine is Christmas Eve on Sesame Street from 1978. Who didn't grow up with Sesame Street? These beloved characters. Sorry, guys. Elmo's not in this one. It's a little too early for his tenure. But uh, other than a weird opening seven or eight minutes where it looks like Sesame Street on ice and Oscar gets launched out of the rink and breaks his neck. There's some really heartwarming stuff. There's a great through line with Big Bird being convinced by Oscar that Santa Claus isn't going to come down in the chimneys on Sesame Street. A gift of the Magi parallel with Bert and Ernie where they trade each other's most prized possession for the, the other's gift. And my favorite through line it has got to be Cookie Monster trying to contact Santa and eating every form of communication he has with him. And a great uh, end credits bit with Cookie Monster eating the, cookie, uh, eating the cookies and the Christmas tree and telling everyone how Douglas Fir gives him heartburn. Heartwarming stuff all around. Number eight is Will Vinton's Claymation Christmas Celebration, AKA the Christmas special with the California Raisins. It's a shame because I feel like this special got lost in time. I think it's fantastic. I hadn't seen it for a long time and I watched it again this year, already three times. It's, it's such a great animation style from my youth. The special has great segments with the Raisins, doing the Temptations version of Rudolph. There's great animation in the Joy to the World segment, great bumpers with Herb and Rex, but my favorite segment has to be the Carol of the Bells, where the maestro just gets ever so pissed at the bell that just keeps goofing off. Fun times all around, and if you guys haven't seen it in a long time, check it out, it's great. Number seven is Mickey's Christmas Carol from 1983. Yes, I know technically it got a theatrical release because it was added to a re-release of The Rescuers. That aside, we all consider it a Christmas special. And actually, I think it's one of the best Christmas Carol adaptations based off of length of time. Because it's only 25 minutes and it tells a really good story. It, it brings Scrooge McDuck to just a huge popularity that will soon be had in DuckTales. Uh, it's actually the last voice performance of the original Donald Duck, Clarence Nash. I'd say the only thing that's a downer about it is Goofy is not a good Jacob Marley. But it's a shame because I had to use him. Other than that, I think the animation is fantastic. And at certain times, it's really heartwarming and even a tad bit scary. So what more do you want out of a Christmas Carol adaptation? Number six, and I can't believe I have it at six, is Muppet Family Christmas from 1987. I have talked ad nauseum about this in another video. If you want to check it out, go right ahead. But to sh make it short and sweet, I consider the Avengers Endgame of Muppet characters at Christmas time at Fozzie Bear's mom's house, where they have great character interactions and a few other Christmas surprises. Let's just leave it at that. 
Number five is a Charlie Brown Christmas from 1965. I know, I know I'm gonna get some help for this. I don't even like having it this low, but it, it gets real tough at the top here. I love this special, who doesn't? Almost everyone and their mother has seen it. Charlie Brown just feels especially just crapped on this in this special. And I really love that Linus comes to save his day, his day with that monologue. It just, it always gets me. And especially when they gussy up the, the sapling for Charlie Brown at the end, Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. It's so hard to have it this low, but it's just really tough, guys. That soundtrack even, it's fantastic. I even have it on vinyl. What more can be said about it? I just love it. Number four is Santa Claus is Coming to Town from 1970. One of those classic specials from the Rankin and Bass duo that we've all seen during the holiday season. They're marionettes. Uh, the voice cast is outstanding. Mickey Rooney, I love Fred Astaire's character. His version of Santa Claus is Coming to Town with that choir is still one of my favorites to this day. I love the origin story. I love the character of Winter. And I just love the, these, the slow origin story of all the little things you find about Santa Claus throughout his life. And I just think it's fantastic. We've all seen it. We all love it. At this point, I just want to throw out a couple honorable mentions. Some that just didn't make the list or I just really like and enjoy or just some that I think have classic status but just didn't make the cut. The Little Drummer Boy from Rankin and Bass from 1966. Outstanding. You guys should see it. It is so well done given the time. Fantastic. Yes, I'm going to put the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special from this year up there. I think James Gunn does really well with humor and heart, and I especially love the gift exchange at the very end. And I'm also going to throw A Year Without a Santa Claus on the list, 1974. I'll be honest, I've never been huge on this. It kind of bores me at time, but its inclusion has to be here because of Snow Miser and Heat Miser, and damn it, are they not entertaining and save that special. Number three is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from 1964. Yes, I know. It is a legendary special. We all love it. I'm sorry it doesn't make number one, but there's just two more that I like more. The, the songs are catchy as hell. We still all remember them. The, the art style is so great from that era. I love the voice cast. Burl Ives is a great snowman, especially with Holly Jolly Christmas, especially when that song gets going. I'm all the feels. It's just, it just doesn't crack the top two, guys. I'm sorry. I love it to death, but there's just two more I love more. And here is where I feel like we have the big point of contention. Number two is Frosty the Snowman from 1969. Here's why I like it a little bit more than Rudolph, guys. I didn't have Frosty on VHS, so every time it aired on TV, it felt special. I could watch Rudolph whenever. I love snow. I'm still wishing for a snowfall. Let's see. And then I love Jackie Vernon as Frosty. The soundtrack with the song is great. Jimmy Durante is great. And I just love the classic style animation as opposed to the marionettes. I'm sorry. Give me hell if you will. But I love Frosty. Number one is How the Grinch Stole Christmas from 1966. Words can't describe how much I love this special. I watch it every year on Christmas Eve. No matter where I am, I have to watch it. It has become a tradition. I have loved it ever since I was a six-year-old. I've owned it on every form of physical media. Boris Karloff is great as the narrator and as the Grinch, which is a funny little tie-in because if you think about it now with all the adaptations, that's the only time they've had the same voice actor. So one could almost say that this is the Grinch telling the story of how he was reformed by the Who's. I love the soundtrack from Thrall Ravenscroft, and some of you didn't know, he was actually the voice of Tony the Tiger. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, and you're also great. I love it so much. I love the animation style. I love the soundtrack. And when the Grinch's heart grows three sizes, that's how I feel during the holiday season. And that is why How the Grinch Stole Christmas is my number one. So that's it for my list, guys. Tell me how I'm wrong down below in the comments. Let's keep it kind. It is the holiday season. Also down below, we're going to leave ways to stream some of these specials and links for some of you to see them if you haven't, because they're pretty great. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Happy holiday season, all of you. And I'll see you guys next time.